All right, my beautiful loves. Let's see what we have here for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Aquarians. Okay, so we have the judgment card. Sagittarian energy. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We've got the Five of Swords. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for me. Ooh, and the Seven of Swords. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my beautiful Aquarians, please. Okay. King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And we have the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, the Justice card, Libra Energy, and the Six of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles under the deck, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so Aquarius, I feel here, so we've got the, the Queen to the King of Swords here. So this is a relationship that has either gone cold, become very defensive, um, it is a, a true pair, so it is a soul tie, okay? But it, I feel like in this particular case, especially with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords in between this King and Queen of Swords, I feel like there have been a lot of mind games here. There has been a lot of lying, a lot of deception, a lot of sneakiness, okay? A lot of sneakiness. Um, I feel, especially in this particular deck, we've got the Judgment card, but it says Karma on it, on it which I find interesting. Um, I feel like someone here has is paying their karma or has made certain decisions. I feel like someone here tried to play mind games to get their way. And these decisions were not good. Okay, these decisions were not good because I feel like this King of Swords energy perhaps has decided to just pursue someone new because the outcome here that we're seeing with the Nine of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Six of Swords, the Justice card also represents karma, okay? So I feel like someone here is in this energy of, you know what, I am good all by myself. I don't need you in my life and I definitely don't need you playing all types of freaking mind games to get your way. Someone here is deciding with the Six of Swords to move away from this because it's toxic. Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and Nine of Wands. We may have been dealing with a situation here where somebody here was paying, uh, like the breadwinner, someone here was giving money, spending money. Maybe someone here was with a gold digger. Okay, possibly. All right. Um, but I feel like someone here is retracting their offer of let's have together forever together. Or, you know, someone here perhaps is tired of spending money. Um, cause I feel like with the nine of pentacles, someone's like, listen, I don't, I don't need these games. I just don't need these games in my life. You know what I'm saying? Let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. I feel here that somebody was either asking for a lot or the Six of Pentacles is monetary. Somebody here kept maybe with that Page of Wands energy, can I borrow money? I'll pay you back. Can I borrow money? I'll pay you back. Um, I feel like with, yeah, with the High Priestess and the Sun card and the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like someone here started catching on that maybe someone was just being used for money. Okay, someone here kept asking for money or asking for too much. Queen of Swords and the Sun card again, Leo energy. It's almost like someone's true colors are showing. Someone here made decisions um, that were very calculating. Okay, someone here had a plan. Tell me about the Five of Swords here for Aquarius. Five of Swords for Aquarius and the Ten of Swords. Mind games are over. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. And the Ten of Wands, someone here has had enough of the lying, the cheating, the deception. I feel like someone here has had enough of being taken advantage of, okay? I'm also feeling with the Five of Swords energy that someone here maybe had a very nasty mouth. Someone here was very nasty with their mouth. Tell me about the King of Swords energy. We've got the Fool card. Ooh, ooh whole bunch of cards popped out. 
Fool card, Nine of Wands. Someone here is letting go and moving on. With the Five of Wands and the World card, someone here is tired of fighting. Someone here is tired of someone's jealous behavior. Someone here is tired of someone always having a problem with something. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and Temperance, I feel like someone here just wants to go to work in peace or someone here just wants to go about their day in peace. You know what I'm saying? Someone here wants to be around people that, you know, it's pleasant to be around so it's it's like tiring we've got the ace of cups and the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy i feel here that um someone here is moving on to someone new someone that's going to be more loving more kind someone that's going to be more intuitive or in tune to what they need okay now king of cups can be male female it doesn't matter um yep see nine of pentacles and the knight of cups i feel like we've got the eight of cups and the six of swords under the deck aquarius someone here's walking away they're walking away and i feel like whoever is walking away is going to be fine and with the knight of cups i see them dating somebody who is emotionally mature very romantic very loving energy okay we're talking about going from the queen of swords to the uh you know the king of cups with someone that's very loving and emotional tell me about this justice card please for aquarius and the two of cups i feel like someone here is, <coughs> is walking away from a karmic soulmate Okay, so Aquarius, someone here may have hurt somebody in the past, possibly an ex-wife or an ex-husband, and I feel that maybe someone here has pay, had to pay karma for hurting someone in the past. Okay, so the person that is walking away is walking away from a karmic. And this Queen of Swords energy was a karmic because the person that's walking away hurt someone in the past. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's see here. Tell me about the Six of Swords energy for Aquarius. The Justice card again. Libra energy. Aquarius, someone here is leaving a karmic behind. Leaving a karmic behind. Big time. Big time. Yeah. And I feel like this karmic is not going to take this change very well because this karmic is stuck on the fact that th they were supposed to be a wife, a mother, have a family, a husband, a father. Someone here is not taking this very well. They are not going to take this news very well because you know it's like uh, I, you know we were supposed to be together we were supposed to get married we were supposed to have a family we were supposed to have kids they're not going to take this very well they're not going to handle this news very well aquarius okay so whoever this is just get ready if you're walking away from this person just get ready it's not going to be easy to walk away tell me about aquarius please tell me about aquarius please so we have wedding and we've got flirt the situation involves marriage extend your lighthearted energy to others you deserve love love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive we've got attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying by enjoying this moment fully and religious factors Aquarius, I feel like somebody here was trying to be flirtatious or trying to flirt their way into a marriage, okay? I feel that this person didn't really show love. You deserve love and your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I feel like you're manifesting love into your life. You're praying for love in your life and it's coming in. With, with the Ace of Cups here. It's coming in, but what the universe is doing is it has to release what no longer serves. So this person that's trying to flirt their way into marriage with you, and I feel like, again, um, it's not for positive, you know, reasons. It's not for positive reasons. 
Yeah, free yourself. Take back control of your life. Uh, I feel like you're getting away from somebody that is trying to be with you for all the wrong reasons, Aquarius, okay? And you're moving on to, to real love, to true love, okay? All right, guys. I love you so much and take care. Bye, my loves.